We're on uh, page 92, topic uh, 17, and uh, we have exercises to do. So in number one, we're going to go over I and L. In uh, two, we're going to do F. And in three, we're going to do M and O. So, uh, one I expresses a ratio in the simplest form, one kilogram to th 300 grams. Now, uh, one of the things we have to do when we have to have a ratio is make sure that these are in the same units. So, a kilogram is the same as a thousand grams. So, I'm going to replace a kilogram with a thousand grams. So I have a thousand grams to three hundred grams so that it's in the same ratio. And this is, I cancel the two zeros here and the two zeros here, I'm left with a ratio of uh, ten to three. Now um, express as a ratio in the simplest form six days to three weeks. So I'm going to Here's my six days, and they have this has to be in the same units in days in this case. So I'm going to replace three weeks by 21 days. Now I'm comparing both in the same uh, units, days to days. So six is to 21. Uh, you uh, reduces to two over seven. If you multiply this by three and this by three, you get six over 21. Now, what if I had chosen to use ratio in weeks, left this as three weeks? Well, six days is six-sevenths of a week. Yeah, one week is seven days, so you only have six days, so you have six-sevenths of a week. Now, this is six over seven divided by uh, three which is the same as 6 over 7 multiplied by 1 over 3. This is 3 over 1. You can change it to multiplication by uh, reversing the numerator and the denominator. And so this becomes 6 over 21, which is reduces to 2 to 7, which is the same as this over here. Okay, determine uh, whether the following is a proportion or not. Uh, these should reduce um, to the same number. We're going to look at this in two different ways. So method one, um, we're going to take 42 uh, uh, 90 over 98. 6 times 7 is 42. 2 times 7 times 7 is 98. 7 times 7 is 40. Uh, 9, 2 times 49 is 98. So I can cancel the um, 7s here. And 2 goes into 6 3 times, so I get 3 sevenths. On the other hand, if I take the other 18 over 63 here, this is 9 times 2 over 9 times 7. The 9's cancel, it's 2 sevenths. This reduces the 42 over 98 reduces to 3 sevenths. The 18 over 63 reduces to 2 sevenths. Since the two ratios do not reduce to the same quotient, it is not a valid proportion. The other way that I could do it is just cross multiply and um, take uh, 42 times 63. And if you work that out, you can see that it's not equal to 18 times 98 cross multiplication. Let's go back up here. 42 is to 63 as 18 is to 98. And uh, you, you can see that the last number here will end in 6, whereas the last number here will end in 4. 8 times 8 is going to end 64, so the last number is 4. Here we've got a 3 and a 2, so the last number is going to end at 6. But you can do it on your calculator and show these two numbers are not equivalent. So the, 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 uh, the following is not a proportion. Okay, here 
we're going to uh, solve for x in the following proportion. And this shows a specific example where we use it in algebra. And there's more than one way to do this, but cross multiplication says take the 4 multiplied by the x minus 3 equals 3 multiplied the x plus 5. Use the distributive rule, we get 4x minus 12. 3x plus 15. If I transpose this from the right to the left, 4x minus 3x is x. The minus 12 goes from the left to the right. It adds to the 15 and it becomes 27. Now let's check the solution. The left side of the equation is x minus 3 over x plus 5. I'm going to replace the x with 27. 27 minus 3 is 24. 27 plus 5 is 32. 24 over 32 reduces to 3 over 4 because you can 8 times 3 and 8 times 4. And you get 3 quarters. What does the right side say? It says 3 quarters. So you get the left side equal the right side. Now we could have also uh, multiplied both sides of this by the common denominator, which would be 4 times x plus 5. We could multiply both the left and the right by 4 times x plus 5. If that is the case, the x plus 5 cancels, and I get 4 times x minus 3. The right side becomes 4 times x plus 5, 3 over 4. The 4s cancel, and I get 3x plus 5. 4x minus 3 becomes 4x minus 12 by the distributive rule. By the distributive rule, this becomes 3x plus 15. And x also equals 27. When I transpose this to the right side, I get 15 plus 12. And 4x minus 3x is x. So I get exactly the same answer that I got over here using cross multiplication. Here, I'm going to use cross multiplication again. 4 times x squared minus 3 equals 2 times x squared plus 10. Use the distributive rule. 4x squared minus 12 equals 2x squared plus 20. So transpose the 2x squared from the right to the left. I get 4x squared minus 2x squared. It give me 2x squared minus 12 on the left, added to the right, gives me 32. Divide this by 2, divide that by 2, and x comes out to be plus 4 or minus 4. So I substitute plus 4 or minus 4 into this, and you can see the left side is, we go back up here into the original equation, the left side is 4x squared plus 10. The right side is 2x squared minus 3. So it doesn't matter when this term is squared or this term is squared, I'm going to get 16 both. So this is 4 over 16 plus 10, which is 4 over 26, reduces to 2 over 13. Here I've got 16 minus 3. So that, that is over 13, so the left side equals the right side. So we have the uh, correct answer. And uh, that completes uh, um, 